Block builder is kind of like a stream builder. It has a required field named builder that takes a method. That method's parameter are context and state which is the current state of our block class. There is another field which is optional called build win. Build win can be implemented for more control over how often block builder rebuilds. Build win should only be used for performance optimization. It will be invoked on each block state change and it takes the previous state and current state and must return a pool which determines whether or not the build function will be invoked. The previous state will be initialized to the state of the block when the block builder is initialized. This widget has a field named listener which like the builder in block builder takes a method whose parameters are context and state. The return value of the method we enter here is void for the listener unlike the builder which was a widget. So we don't need to return a widget in the listener. This widget guarantees us that whenever the state of the application changes, this listener will be called, unlike the builder which could be called several times. So we can do things like navigation or displaying message or snack bar or changing data values in this listener. The important thing is that the listener method is not called when the block class is newly created and returns the initial state. But the builder method in block builder does the opposite and is called even in the first returned state which is the initial state. Don't get me wrong, the listener method is called every time this state changes. Only once it is not called, that is when we create an instance of the block class and it is returning the initial state to us. Only this time it is not called. There is another field called listen when, which is exactly like build when and you can set a series of conditions to say when the listener will be called and when not. We have another widget called multi-block listener. With this widget, you can listen to several blocks at the same time. Just pass a list of block listener to it. The last widget is block consumer. Suppose you want to use both block listener and block builder on a block class at the same time. Instead of using this widget separately, you can use block consumer widget, which has listener and builder at the same time. The only thing this widget has done is to combine listener and builder, otherwise it is not complicated. Well, guys, I have explained all the required widgets in this video and in the previous videos. From the next video, we are going to start block projects, so stay with me.